Warning, graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like watching pest control videos, then hello again and welcome to the Squirrel Hunter channel. Please continue and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. If you have any questions, can you please check the description below first to see if it's already been answered and for some useful links. Thank you. My weapon of choice today is my trusty Theobin Rapid in .22 calibre. I should be launching the Predator Polymags I've grown to quite like over the time I've been using them. Bro will be using his Air Arms S510 in 177 calibre, his Ratting Rig. And he'll be launching Barracuda Hunter Extremes. They normally work well as well. Brev should be using his Daystate Mark IV in 177. And he'll be launching the Predator Polymag Shorts. And Grant will be also along with us using his Calibre Cricket. And he also will be using the Predator Polymags in the Short Series. Start the video off with Grant's footage first. I've also got everybody to give me their timings for when they shoot their squirrels. I normally do it as a matter of course, but we've anticipated on today being a bumper day. So we decided to get everybody to make a note when they shoot them at what time, and then I'll put them in time order. So that's what you'll be seeing after every shot when the squirrels arrived. It took a little bit more effort and organization and editing but we decided on that summit a little bit different for you. I've also had a few comments asking for some timings on starts and stops just to get a feel for how long we're out there. So that wish has been granted and we're still with Grant. He got started before all of us. Myself and Bro haven't arrived yet and he's already knocking squirrels onto the ground. Good solid wallop there. No issues with the accuracy. I'll say it before and I'll say it again. Everyone takes a test shot or two before we start. Just to be on the safe side. And I've locked up with Bro now. Just as the rain starts to fall. It was predicted. But hey ho, you can't have it all your own way, can you? You hear the rain's coming down. It looks like this one's belly has got the better of him. Forced him to come for a feed. Usually quite sheltered under the canopy of the woodland. A lot of leaf up there. They don't mind getting a bit damp if their belly gets full. He wasn't expecting that. Grant's on 3 nil already, or 3 nil 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 because none of the rest of us have managed to get a shot off yet. He's streaking away. If you watched the last video you would have seen he's got a second feeder up in this woodland. I'm not sure if it's put up before this session or after. This is the original one. Cut over to Bruv now, viewed from his trail cam on a tripod for the side of his feeder. He does the zero check. I just included this bit of footage to show you pretty much what all of us do. You can see the trail cam on the tripod. It didn't always film properly, it didn't always trigger. Got a bit of footage off it. I haven't included all of it because the video is quite long as it is. This is the first one for Bruv. up on the side of the feeder there just trying to gauge whether it's going to come round or not if it sits there he sat in his car by the way doesn't sit in his hide much rather sit in his car if he can drive close enough this one sat nice and still just gone seven o'clock Brett's got his first kill solid impact there from the polymag He's had a good chop around on a vegetation on the ground. See the rain's caught up with him now. It came on and off all day long. Bit of a weird day really if I remember rightly. A little bit of sunshine, gonna get a shower of rain. It didn't always go the whole way over the woodland. So it's quite heavy here. What I remember it to be. The glance has gone quiet now. Gloves turned to shine. Good solid head impact. 
back onto Grant's feeder. See a pheasant on the ground, picking up loose wheat. And yet another victim coming in. This is a pheasant shoot. Expect to see them here. Seems to be a bit of confusion from some people. We don't shoot pheasants out of season or without permission. And these are pheasant shoots. And the only reason we get to go and shoot here is to remove the pests. So no, we don't want to shoot the pheasants for any reason. Not unless we get invited out for a day shotgunning. Here we go. The pheasant has a bit of a jump about. Well, the squirrel does the same, but for the wrong reasons. The pheasant was a little bit startled. It didn't go far, did it? And the squirrel never knew what hit it. Typically nosy. The pheasant has a bit of a look. Walks over all nonchalantly. What's that squirrel doing? I don't even think it can think that much, really. They're a bit dull. I'd like to see them around the feeder though, even though we're not shooting them. I do think it gives a, a bit of activity to attract attention off squirrels and it also should convince them that it's a safe place to come to. There we go again. Grant again. He's streaking away. No sign of me or bro on the score sheet yet. Grant's doing a great job. I'm quite disciplined. I'm waiting for the optimum moment to shoot the squirrel. I think I was just in cocking his rifle. I'll have to get himself set up again now. This one's pretty much presenting a full on headshot. I do like those shots. All quartering towards you. They're another good one. Helps if you can get them set up in a position where you can deliver a kill shot accurately and easily. Polax that one. Straight down to the ground. Standard kick about. It's pretty much all over for that squirrel. Over to Bro now. Taking a bit of bird watching. Occasionally come to the feeder. He's wedged the lid open on this one just to allow birds to come in and feed. And there's a squirrel here somewhere. Should be coming down from the top of the screen. There it is. Put up in the tree, jumped on the roof. Broads on the case. Helps when you can see them approach from distance. You have plenty of time to get set up. Sometimes when they go out of sight, you can get set up without them seeing you. This one hasn't noticed bro, and he's busy watching. And the hunter extreme finds its mark. Another spot on pellet delivery, courtesy of bro. Typical kickabout. Get the blood out the ear. Always a good sign. We'll soon come to rest. So everyone's off the board except me now. I'm sat waiting, surfing away. Back to Grant again. He's next up for a squirrel. This one's come straight in, got on the feeder. Sounds like he's cocking his rifle again. Not entirely sure if he didn't after the last shot or whether or not he's been taking some more test shots. Sometimes at a boredom I do the same. It always pays to make sure your rifle's shooting correctly, though he's not had any issues today. His next session he has a few, but you've already seen that. Not sure what happened there. Still a good bag though, didn't he? Wonder what it'll get today. Good solid impact there. I do believe up to this point he's never had 
double figure bag of squirrels. I might be wrong. I don't think he has up to this point. Let's see what he gets today. It's an optimum time to go shoot in. We expect to do well today between us. Still chasing the... We, we want to shoot 100 squirrels this year for the owners. That's the target. You might have guessed by now we've already exceeded that by this point. I'm pretty sure we have. I'll tell you at the end of the video what the final tally was. Although you haven't seen all the bits of video yet. I haven't got video for every kill, but I better get 95% of them on film, one way or another. No, Grant started filming his. You can see quite easily here we're back with Brev. Got squirrels come down a tree. It's more like it. Still carefully messing around the camcorder when he thinks the squirrel's not looking. That's it. Perfect. Those narrow ledges tend to cause them to sit in these funny positions. I do like it when they drop their head forward. Especially straight on. I've put angled boards on the back before now to make the feeders tilt forward. A to make them drain and B to make them tilt the squirrel forward. That was almost a got caught out with the head movement. You can see his head is moving on the ground. He's caught it, but not where he should have done. That was a head movement failure there. When he realised there was a problem, he shot the squirrel and then forgot to record it. That's the same squirrel. Delivered a second shot as soon as he realised it wasn't dead. Back to Grant again. Still no sign of me. Everyone's having a great day out. <coughs> I'm on zero still. I do seem to like running up that side of the tree for Grant. That one came in and went out. Grant just decided to do a bit of bird filming. I'm not sure if it's the same squirrel, but it's just come running down straight on the feeder. It's much better they run away unmolested. They take a hasty shot and miss. Does happen on occasion. This is more like it. Grant shooting from a hide is the only the same as our hides. I think the only one shooting from the car today is Brev. He's even sat in his car with a motor going before now, 15 yards from the feeder and the squirrel's still come in. Wait for it. Nice shot there, Grant. Going back to the car story, it just goes to show how stupid they are. They walk past dead bodies, even with a car in front of them, 15 yards away. If you saw anything different happen, like them running away, you'd have to do something else. Back over to Bro now. You can see in the ring where the squirrel is. He seems to like that root. Come up into that tree. Come down and drop on the roof of the feeder. Come down the tree. Is this one going to come in or is this going to mess him about? Sometimes tempted to take them where they are. But at this point, Bro thinks it's going to come to the feeder. So we're just going to content to sit there and wait. The tripod's working well. Part of the reason we decided on the tripod is we couldn't keep propping up on that bin. They're going to want that for feeding the pheasants. We went for three legs and the orientation they are. Hopefully so any squirrel that hits the ground is very unlikely to get stuck behind the leg so you can't see it to shoot it on the ground if it does need a finishing shot. That one didn't come in. Not sure if it's the same squirrel. It's in a similar position. This one does come down. Just let you know in advance. There it is. That's pretty usually run at the log. It's looking like a likely candidate. Not 
not supposed to do that, but never mind. Something sparked it. Didn't run too far though, did it? If it sits on there, it could be in trouble. Could be a mess with this squirrel. Looks like it's worried. And it should be too. Pro wasted no time in sending the shot. As soon as it sat still, and he's got his account off the mark. That'll do. Andrew Extreme's done a great job again. Looking correctly placed. At last, here I am. Spotted a squirrel coming in from the side. Right to have wedged my lid open and hope that some birds might come to feed. Don't normally come from the left. They usually come in the bank directly behind the tree and from a right the two o'clock direction. There was nothing here when I arrived, nothing ran away. From our data so far, we don't turn up the crack of dawn here. We did it a couple of times and decided the squirrels don't turn up until quite a bit later on. So I'll let extra hour in bed. Got quite a few showers. The weather's okay at the moment. Not one coming from the left. I've said it in a few other videos. I think moving my feeder closer to Bros has robbed him of some squirrels. We decided just to keep it here for the time being. It's physically moved now to further around the hill. Or had it initially moved, but up the hill from there. I've moved Bro to this location for next year. Once the pheasant season is over, we're going to hit it with a vengeance again. It's gone up the tree. I got it to stop by making a clicking noise. I wasn't about to let it run off. Not if I could stop it and shoot it. Didn't do a very good job of filming, but like I said before, I'm here to shoot them, not film them. I just sat there listening to everybody else on the text saying they've had a squirrel. You know, my account is well and truly opened. I'm back with Brevne. He's next up for a squirrel. No real pattern. Sometimes you come in quick succession, and other times you gotta wait, a bit like buses. Good side on headshot opportunity there. Just doing the right thing, engaging what this squirrel's up to. Seems to like sitting that end for some reason. Well, never mind, that'll do. Get mid morning now. Rub's knocking him over nicely. And back to me again. Like my luck might be changing. We scored two of the day. I see the claws have been on the side of that tree. I come around there. I sit on that ledge I hastily screwed back on at an angle. Seems to work quite well. It's about 45 degrees with a couple of screws underneath. I managed to sit on it though, nevertheless, they used to sit on small branches. As long as they can sit in a stable, solid, unmoving way, so you can produce a good headshot, that's all you need. Have a look at me, I'm in the hide, my car's down the road. Lots of bird life in this wood. I haven't had any scope cam lately because, to be quite honest, I've got a bit bored with it. It's a lot harder work and decided to have a bit of time off. Plus I need a scope cam that will fit some of the scopes i got and I haven't as of yet. Hopefully I'll remedy that, but never mind. This one sits up and I knock it down. 
didn't even get a bite of breakfast that one. Squirrel two day. I'd much rather they kick quite violently like that than just lay still. You can see the back end's kicking violently and the front end's all floppy. No head lifting, no coherent walking. It's another good shot. Back to Grant again. He's showing us all the way. He's obviously spotted a squirrel coming in. Not sure he saw that one first. Maybe there's a gap to the right or not. I don't know. Or it came in on a tree, possibly. He's anticipated its arrival with the camera. So we can sniff about. Almost tempted to shoot it there, isn't it? But again, the head movements, even though they're slow and deliberate, still the difference between a miss and a wound, and a clean kill. Unless it comes still, you happens to have the crosshairs on it. Just like that. Nicely taken, Grant. Which is straight on headshot. 177 pellet would have gone right down into that one. Pretty much see by the reaction. The shot was a good one. It does help when you can see. Looks like he's digging his own grave. Maybe not. Jumped onto the surface. Grant yet again. On a definite roll today. You could probably spot them squirrels coming from right to the top of that tree. So there's one coming in deliberately slowly. And he's already tracking it with a scope and the gun. It sits still. It'll get shot. There we go. Nicely picked off the sides of the tree. It looked quite calm. When it went rigid, you had the crosshairs on top of it. Nano second of deliberation. And then the shot was released. Back over to Bro now. This one's obviously come rushing in. Straight to the feeder. That bird seemed to have a panic attack then. Greedy little devil, isn't he? That'll do. The base of the year, that one. So muscle spasm up. No sharp nails will dig in. It's not a conscious thing, just physics, really. If they hang on for any length of time, you've got to wonder are they still alive? If they start moving their head, what have we here? Scroll 2 comes in. The same clip. Just after his mate's been shot, or well, probably not his mate. fellow squirrel. It was a welcome bonus when they come in pairs like that. This one hasn't been spooked by the shot. You see all that blood on the leg. I think that might have come off the last squirrel. Might be wrong though. It's pretty fresh. Go on, son. You know you want a bite to eat. Excellent result, that is. Go on, sit down. Sometimes they put their head in the trough like a pig. Just scoff away. That'll do, I think. Far too long it held it for. I didn't normally shoot them there that often when they 
hang around like that. It's asking for trouble. Nice double there, bro. Good solid impacts. Nice bullfinch male there. Over to me. A bit of a run of form now. This will just come dashing in from the side. Hence the shortness of the video footage. A little fidget around in the hide. I sat right back. It's just showing me his backside. No Texas heart shots from me. There we go. That'll do. I'll sit up like that, son. Thank you. Right at the base of the lug hole, I think that was. Lug everywhere. There's wreck a skull of polymag. Sub 12 foot pain rifles don't really have the same effect as a FAC one, in my humble opinion. I don't think the pellets mushroom, not against something so soft as this rural head. I think you have to drive it sight faster in 2 2 calibre to get that pellet to buckle. I think they tumble. As long as they're accurate, they're good pellets. I shoot this range. No point in worrying if it's accurate 30 yards when I'm shooting at 15. Sources for courses. I'll get shot anywhere between me and the feeder, maybe just behind it. No more than 18 to 20 yards tops. I waited long enough for a run of good form. There's yet another squirrel come my way. The squirrel chases the bird away. That's more like it. Biding my time now, just in case there's any other squirrels nearby. Seems to have perked up quite a bit. Day's getting better by the minute. It might have been able to smell me. It doesn't seem to care. I lifted up this morning with bare hands. It's not been affected. There we go. Rifle's doing around about 11 foot pound, might even be a bit less. It is accurate with a poly bag and they do do a lot of damage. And guess what? It's me again. I can live with this. I've waited a long time now. There's another squirrel here somewhere. And there it is, base of the tree. Coming around the corner, straight onto the hopper. Or the ledge even by the hopper. Zoom in. The rain's going to me quite a bit now. That'll do. I'm busy watching that. Kicked over to there somewhere. There it is. Watching through the scope. Not running away, I can tell you that for nothing. Dead as a doornail in them bushes. Bit annoying to kick that way though, sometimes that happens. Not under any sort of control, usually gravity helps. Just managed to get some sort of perch just into the ground. I prefer them to lay on their back and kick their legs, they don't go anywhere then. And yet another squirrel's come my way. The fourth in a row. I'm catching up with the rest of them. This is only right and proper. Can't be having a bad day, can I? Come all this way, sit and get nothing. It is quite handy when you kick down the bank or to the side. They almost get removed from the sight line. As you can see that one didn't mess about much, got straight up on the ledge. As a sniff, I do think that's me. Did it affect it? Not in the slightest. We must smell humans around it when we throw them up. Never mind. 
I wish I carbon copied the other one. There we go. And for a short while while the muscles relaxed. Then ragdolled down the hill. Quite happy with that. Like I said, you can never tell what time they're gonna come. Sometimes you get doubles like Bro did. Sometimes you get them in the space of a few minutes. that shot. I'm happy with the bag I'm building as well. Who's next for a squirrel? Oh it's me again. It's be the fifth one in a row if I can shoot it. Rapidly catching up everybody else. about. I'm busy tracking it. Sat nice and still. So take it where it is. So from 10.14 to 11.07 and five squirrels. Quite happy with that batting rate. Plenty of action. Not much waiting time. Not a bad day to wait anyway, it's not that cold. Bit of rain, that's all. It's pretty much cutched up in my hide. I've got a tarp on at the top of it now. A great big one with our little sheep bro had. Back to Brev. The camera's on because there's a squirrel on the feeder. We've all got pretty good signals on the squirrel hill. All chatting away on the chat on Facebook and texting each other. Let each other know what's going on. That's in a nice feeding pattern now, perfect. Almost a quarter in towards him shot, she loves so much. There we go. You see the pellet streaking from the right. The camera's obviously to the left of Brev. Good, solid wallop. Another one down. Over to Grant again, he's had a bit of a Quiet a time. Not entirely sure whether they come over the top of the hill and down the bank. Whatever we had early on. I know a lot of mine come from up the top of the hill direction. The pheasant pens are just behind my feeder, or where I sit actually. So that might be a route they use to go to to steal the pheasant food. Obviously they're wandering around the woods all day. And usually hear more than you can see. And there's usually more there than you can hear. Grant's just gauging its behaviour, whether to shoot or not. Looks nice and still, head in the trough. Took the decision to take the shot. Nicely placed shot. There's a little dip at the base of that tree. Rather helpfully, a bit like the rat shooting back legs tend to kick them up out of holes. It's quite a useful reaction sometimes. At the times it can be a bit of a pain. There's a few twitches and that's dead. Back to me again. This one's caught me completely by surprise. I'm not sure if it's paying attention or whether it just come dashing in but it's on the feeder. I'm only fidgeting in a big fat chair. What a rather large, comfortable camping chair. After breaking my old one and shooting with Lethal Lee. Which I've yet to show you that video. I leant on the chair and snapped the handle off. I had it over a decade. It's taken a bit of hammer. So I've got a nice big comfy chair now. Plenty of room. If you're wriggling that chair quite violently, like that, the squirrel hears something and goes on alert. And then I shoot it in the head. The trough's quite deep. And if you're skewing too much of its head for my liking. Sometimes you can click at them. They worked quite well, didn't it? So 
what they used to do with the click of doom, which I could have done. Any little noise gets their attention. Back over to Brev now. He's doing well. Numbers are picking up for him. We did initially think that he was probably going to be on the gold mine for squirrels. Didn't tend to materialise. Grant got in amongst them. As you'll see at the end, he has the biggest bag of all of us. Just tracking the screw on the scope. Breath waiting for the opportune moment. There we go. I'm so nice of the squirrel. Didn't see where the shot went, but I bet it's over the top of the eyebrow from that angle. And that is the dead squirrel that never knew what hit it. If you're unsure of why they kick, there's a link in the description, detail in it. Ted's video doesn't last long. Back to Bro now. This one's come romping straight in. Sometimes difficult to see them where he is. Just whack that one straight in the side of the head. Didn't look so good when it jumped. It's not that one. It's the bottom one. Spasming a bit. But it's dead on the floor. Two on the feeder for Grant. He's getting a greedy boy, isn't he? See if you can get both of them, eh? This is what you need to watch out. When they start pushing each other around. There'll usually be some sort of argy-bargy. One of them's going to win. It's usually the bully or the cue jumper. Once dominance is sorted, we'll go back to feeding nice and calmly again. Here we go. The squirrel in the bottom right jumps off out the way and runs onto the side of the tree. Grant misses that one. I think he might have pulled a the shot there. Maybe it clipped the bark. Unlucky Grant. Brev's already lining up on this one. Waiting for it to sit still. Do. It's nearly a straight on headshot that. And that'll do. Good solid head impact. I'll just put Grant down the bottom of there because I'm not sure if he failed to record it or the battery went on his cam recorder. I was just to let you know he's had another one. Unfortunately, he didn't get it on film for one reason or another. And Brev's not been so good either. He hasn't managed to press record, I don't think. But the trail cam has caught a squirrel. Wasn't shot very well. Wait for it. He is now. And that's Brev coming out to check on it. He'll pick up all the squirrels around. Just got caught in the camera. That's him picking up some of the other bodies. If you've got a break cover, you might as well pick them up. I've forgotten the past. Back with Bro now. Got a squirrel on the ground under the feeder. Doesn't take more than a few leaves to get in the way, does it? I've shot rabbits through leaves before now, but I wouldn't recommend it. Looks like he's having a sniff about. Is it sniffing a corpse or just sniffing something else? Trying 
trying to inspect that corpse by the look of it. Dead as a doornail. Just having a bit of a sniff at it though. Should eventually lose interest and go up on the feeder, hopefully. Check the other dead body out. A bit of blood. Doesn't seem to care. Get past the blood and the dead bodies. Belly's rumbling. Let's have something to eat. And it's a meal that could very well be its last, especially if Bro's watching. If it sits up straight. The pellet streaking for the right. It's hitting the head. Down to the ground. The top camera work there, Bro. Ain't joking. If anyone else out there thinks they can do any better, then they should rip on and make some videos. Another perfectly executed shot from Bro. Wasn't that bad today, is he? There we go, another squirrel just coming out of the bank. There it is to the right of the feeder. In the background. Probably see the dead bodies creeping in. The ninja assassin squirrel. A quick look. Is it up the leg onto the feeder? I knew you want to. Let's speed this one up. This ninja can't make his own mind up. Absolutely no shot on, it was sat nice and still. If Ro could have seen its head, he would have shot it. Not even a vital shot on the heart and lungs. And then Ninja Squirrel turns out to be a terrified Ninja Squirrel and runs off. But it happens. Another opportunity for Bro. Not sure if it's the same squirrel or not, it's hard to tell. Sometimes they have bite marks on the ears. But generally speaking, not a lot to tell the difference. If I'm not mistaken, Bro's gone out and picked the dead ones up after that last one. If I'd seen that run away, I'd probably do the same thing as well. I'd probably blunder straight at the hide, grab everything off the ground, then hope that I haven't created too much disturbance. We both have been to feeders before now and spooked them on arrival. Taken test shots, got set up, and within 10 minutes of being ready, another squirrel come back down. It's almost certainly the same one. Got up and sat and waited till the humans have gone away. So sometimes they'll be tolerant of human presence, be a bit wary, don't go so far. And other times they'll tear off, and I think it's down to the level of persecution. Like they've been chased with shotguns, they might be a little bit more jumpy than this method, which is very quiet and very selective and very deadly, if done correctly. Don't mess about. Looks like it's got a eye missing, that one. Still sat up right there, wasn't it? Can only assume that's some sort of fighting injury. That'll do, though. Won't have to worry about being blind in one eye again. Bro knocks it to the ground. I've got some good footage from Lethal Lees. There's one on the feeder with a flap of skin about an inch long hanging down on its shoulder. Big chunks taken out of its ears. They're pretty vicious when they get fighting. I'll just include that because Grant's just had another one. Prior to my squirrel arriving. As I said before, he's pretty much not got the ability to record. Maybe you should get a bigger battery like I did. My penultimate squirrel of the day. After a slow start it seemed to pick up quite rapidly at one point. And them's the rubs. Just pay to be patient. There's no good saying there's no squirrels. 
sometimes you can sit and wait and then a load of them will arrive. And other times they'll come at the beginning and then nothing for hours. This one's showing signs of being a messer. I'm not sure if I've been out and picked up some squirrels. Can't remember exactly what happened. Pretty much every time I turn to check my feeder, I'll put up some more weeds and some then plants. Scatter a bit of wheat around, and the pheasants come around and scrap the ground up and remove vegetation. Also gives a bit more activity. I'm not shy and taking them sat on the tree. Good solid headshot there. That'll do. Happy with that shot. Tend to use the camera these days. Still a bit too much vegetation on my life in there. Let the vegetation is laying the wrong way. I'm pretty sure it's dead though. Nine squirrels again for me. Seems to be the favourite number. Nine, ten squirrels from this feeder. It looks like the prophecy of ten has come through. I've had ten in that other one, but I seem to remember missing one or maybe two even. Tends a good number any day of the week. Apart from my initial folly when I had one, I'm not had less than nine every time I've come out. Will I get this for number ten? It's a big question. Or I fluff it up and miss it and end up with a nine. Or I told Bro I was on nine, he said you've got to stay and try and get ten. So we're gonna give an extra hour. The other lads have agreed. Break like double figures. One extra is not going to matter really. It's a human thing, isn't it? Anyway, this one's going to sit up in a second. I'll take the safety catch off, see if we get it to move. Nope. That'll do though. Nothing wrong with that shot. That's pretty much what I expect to see with a good headshot. Sometimes I'll jump, but not often. You get the brain in the right spot, it buckles them clean. I got the honour of the last squirrel. That was a cue for us all to wrap up and then meet up and compare our bags for the session. That's a four man assault on Squirrel Hill. Finished. So it's half past when we give up. I did pick up. It's what pile I left in the nettles by the side of my hide. And I ranged them all out. Ten squirrels, happy with that. That's Bro's bunch. Seven squirrels, he did all right off his feeder. Grant's done brilliantly. Twelve squirrels, the first time he's breached ten. We've have seen in a previous week that he does it again the next week. So excellent shooting from Grant, plus he had a bonus J this week, which goes to the Gamekeeper, who's got a friend who does taxidermy, he wants them for that. They're on the list to be removed from this area. It's about the only place that myself and Bro would shoot a jay these days. So 36 squirrels and a jay. It's not a bad total for today. I haven't finished showing you all the footage from Squirrel Hill, but I will tell you that we finished this season, in inverted commas, i.e. before the pheasants got put down, with 204, which isn't shabby, when we promised 100. And we only started part way into the year. So roll on 2019 and the pheasants going away and we can get back on them again. And thank all of you who subscribed for taking us through the 100,000 subscribers mark this year. Thank you from all of us. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.